form design a component of ultimate forms, it's easy to create sophisticated, smart, dynamic forms for SharePoint lists. We start by clicking on the design button and going straight into the form designer. Now we have the option of creating blank form and add the, all the columns ourselves, or let it add all the editable columns for me. Um, I'm just gonna create a blank one and I'll start my layout by using, first of all, containers. Containers are a great tool for controlling form layout in a responsive way. They can be used for the layout itself, they can be used for styling, and they can be used for permissions by cascading permissions, inheriting the, the columns in, in the, inside the container will inherit the permissions from the container, which saves you time on setting permissions. You don't need to set permissions for each individual column. So first container is going to be here. It's going to contain my project name and description. So here I'm just going to use the default layout, which is one on top of the other. And um, the only thing I want to do here is apply a theme. So the container will have some nice look. So let's do the shadow one. Next, let's take a little look at the columns themselves. So you can see all of the columns from your list on the left, both editable and not editable. You can also modify settings of your um, of your columns right from here, and you can also create any new columns you need directly from here. All the column types are supported, including the built-in column types and our special column types. Next, in the settings pane on the right, you can configure all the settings of that column here for the form. So we can rename it just for the form. We can add a custom description. We can even show the description as a pop-up. Let me add another container. In this container, I'm going to put my start and end date and due date. But now I'm going to place the columns side by side. So I'm going to select the container and switch to two side-by-side -side columns. Let's also add the assign to column to here and also switch this container and to the shadow theme and let's add another container this one is going to be uh, holding first of all the status column and we also going to put my end date and my completed by columns those columns um, should only be editable and visible when the status is actually changed to completed. And as I mentioned earlier, we can apply permissions to a container instead of uh, doing it to, for each individual column contained. So let's place another container inside this container and switch our layout to uh, third and two thirds. And then in the second container, we're going to place the end date and let's switch this container to side by side as well and completed by now um, let's pick the container itself and add permission rules so i'm going to add a rule that makes it writable only when the status is completed And let's also add our style. Now let's add some rules to set the end date and the completed by date to default values when the status changes to completed. We cannot use the regular list default values because if we set the end date to default value, it will be uh, already set when we first open the form. We don't want that. We only want the value to be set when the status is completed. So let me select it, add a rule that would set a dynamic value to today when our status is completed. And because I don't want it to run when it's already ran once, let's say that end date should be also empty. Same things 
for the completed by. This is a user field. So we're going to set it to current user. And we are also going to set the same status to complete it. Almost. And uh, again, completed by will be empty. Let's now change a little bit the styling of the form. We can do a lot of different things, but I'm just going to apply a theme. This is my favorite one. So we're just going to apply the theme. And then we just going to click on publish. And we are done. Let's go to the list. And now when we click on add new item, we see our brand new form. See our description. Let's enter test, start date, due date. Assign to and not started as our status. If I change the status to complete it, uh, my additional columns appear right away. And that's all there is to it. You can install a 30 day trial of Ultimate Forms. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.